What's going on YouTube? Kills the Gunsmith here with a video on a uh, MGC made in Japan model gun company blank firing P38. Now you can see that there's going to be a lot wrong with it and I'll get more into detail with it as I go. So it's already starting off the back, missing off the safety. And go ahead and clear it because we're not Alec Baldwin. There is no ammo. It is a blank firing piece. Nothing in the chamber. And this thing's non-functioning. It's missing parts. And even though it looks like a Walther P38, parts are not cross-compatible except for maybe the grip and possibly the mag. But that's about all you really got. Um, it's made out of cheap metal. Um, it's got smooth bore and it's got a blocker in it. You see that piece in this metal there has to help build up pressure with the blank to just enough for it to cycle. But uh, I already got the takedown pin. Now taking it down with the takedown lever is the same as a real one. But there's no recoil spring or anything in there. So as you can see internally, not a lot going on in there. Trigger doesn't really work properly. Lots of parts broken, the hammers, flimsy. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. And one of our regular customers brought it in and he always has all kinds of cool weird stuff. So it does take down the same. You got your lock and block here. Um, but it's not the same. It doesn't have the falling block like a real one, but it does have a takedown pinhole. And again, closer look at the barrel. Uh, feed ramp's broken. There's a lot of hairline fractures in the barrel. It's just cheap aluminum, basically. Some dings and scratches and stuff like that. And just to show you the internal of the slide. These are not able to be safely converted into live firing guns. That's why they were made as replicas. So, um, some people, I get replicas that come in on occasion, especially like muzzle loaders, uh, musket pistols, rifles, whatever. Um, smooth bore, rifle, whatever. And people want them to know if they can be converted into fireable guns with live ammo. Answer is no, because they were made with live quality. There might be some out there that you could actually convert, but I do not recommend it for safety purposes. But you got a fake, uh, well, a swastika with the eagle on here. It gives you a, a serial number just to make it look cool, even though that's not accurate. MGC, Model Gun Company, and a 6.7, made in 1967. These were commonly made in the 60s. It does have a P38 stamp on it, and it does overall resemble a real one. I just wanted to share this with you guys, talk about it for a second. These are pretty cool. I don't think the mags are compatible with a real one, or vice versa. They might be. I don't have mine with me to try it out, but I thought I'd share this guys with you anyway. Customer just wanted to know if it could be converted, which obviously no. Um, even if you did manage to clear out the barrel and get all the parts for this, which they are not cross compatible, if I haven't mentioned that already. Um, minus a couple small things like a grip, the safety is probably about the same. And it's about it. Same design overall with the extractor. But uh, yeah, if you did manage to put a live round in here, it would blow up because of the cheap quality metal that they used and it's not designed to handle the recoil force of the live round just blanks so thought this would be cool to share with everybody um, <clears throat> they don't produce these anymore model gun company I don't think exists if it does it's integrated and, and became a new company but you can find some of these on eBay and a couple other auction sites 